Hey guys, welcome to this installment of EAP TV. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can set up your very own real estate chatbot for completely free. Coming up. All right guys, so today's video does come in response to a request that I got in the BeatZillow Facebook group. I did put up a post asking about what type of content you guys would like to see moving forward. I wanna know what would be most helpful for you. So if there's something that you would like to see a video on, please leave a comment right down below. And I wanna make sure that we're providing what's most helpful to our audience. Now then, before we get into the chatbot itself, I wanna remind you guys that we are doing a giveaway this month. So if you haven't entered just yet, there will be a link right down below where you can enter to win a free iPad. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you comment on this video or any other EAP video to be entered for your chance to win. Now let's jump into chatbots. They are a very useful tool for real estate agents especially so that you have an immediate follow-up system in place for anyone trying to reach you on Facebook. There are a few different ways you can go about creating your own chatbot. One involves more in-depth coding experience and then there's other services like ManyChat. ManyChat is easily my favorite service when it comes to creating your own chatbot without the hassle of coding. So let's get started. We're gonna select create a Facebook bot and it's important to note that before you can use this service, you obviously do have to have a Facebook business page already created, so that way you can associate this service with that page. So if you haven't done so already, head on back to Facebook and create your real estate business page. Now we'll select sign in with Facebook. And here we are at my dashboard. I've already created an account just so I can walk you guys through this step by step. You can see my Facebook page is John Doe Realtor. And what we're gonna wanna do is head on down to automation. Now, you do see that you have a lot of different options here on the left-hand side. If you guys wanna see a video detailing all these different features of ManyChat, then do leave a comment right down below this video and I'll make sure to make that happen. But right now, we're just gonna click automation. And what we're gonna to wanna to focus on here is the welcome message. So the message that the user receives immediately after trying to reach out to your Facebook page. So let's click on welcome message. And you can see ManyChat provides us with a default welcome message right here. And in the top right hand corner, you can select edit message. So you can see I've already done some playing around with this setup here, but I'm gonna delete this just so I can walk you guys through the process itself again. So I'm gonna eliminate this up here. So let's just start out by saying, hey there and we're gonna add a name here. So you can see this little person icon right down here below the message box. If you click that, you can put first name. So the user's first name will appear there. It just helps personalize the message. So hey there, Kelvin, for example. Thanks for reaching out. I can't wait to follow up with you. In the meantime, some helpful resources. And let's just add an emoji. There we go. And you can see a preview of your message right over here on the right hand side. And so now we've crafted our message. We want to give some links to the user. So let's do add button. And I'm going to do a couple different options here. Schedule a call. And what you're going to want to do is select this little box right down here. So reply with message. We're going to hit that drop down arrow and we're going to do open website. And now we have the option to add a URL. And so I've already used the Squeeze Page app to create a scheduling landing page. So you can see it right here. So I'm gonna copy this link here. We're gonna take that back over to ManyChat. And I'm gonna paste that link right in there and save it. So now they have the option to click this. Let's keep going though. Let's add a couple more options. Let's do real estate tips. And again, we'll do the same thing. Open in website. And let's go back to my lead site. And we're gonna select the real estate blog. And we're gonna copy this link right here and do the same thing. And let's add one more button. We'll do search homes. And we're gonna do the same thing, open in website. And I'm gonna go back to my, and we'll do advanced search. And I'm gonna copy this link here so people can be directed straight back to the home search right here on my website. We'll enter the URL right there. And there we have it. We've created our message and we've given our user three different links back to our website to different resources, depending on what they might be looking for. So let's head over to Facebook and see this in action. 
Here we are. So if someone finds their way onto your Facebook page and they wanna send you a message, they're gonna be presented with this option right down here and they're gonna select Get Started. And what that's gonna do is launch out that pre-composed message that we just created in ManyChats. So you can see here, hey there, Tyler, thanks for reaching out. I can't wait to follow up with you. In the meantime, here are some helpful resources. P.S. If you want to unsubscribe, just type stop. Now we've got these three links right down here. If I click on Schedule a Call, that's gonna open up this landing page window right here. Beautiful. Now if I head back, let's keep trying it out here. Real Estate Tips is gonna take me over to the blog section. Awesome. So this is just a great way to make sure you are always available via Facebook Messenger and that users are always being directed back to resources on your website. Now you'll also notice down below the links, you do have this message that says powered by ManyChat. If you wanna eliminate that, you do have to pay for the upgraded account. Let's go back over here and we can take a look at the prices. In the bottom left-hand corner of your account, you've got Upgrade to Pro. And if you wanna learn more about the plans themselves, you can click on this link here. And you can see, depending on how large your Facebook is, will determine how much you're gonna to have to pay for your account. If you're sitting at 500 or less subscribers, don't worry about upgrading, there's no need to. But once you start breaking 500 and you're up into the thousands range for your Facebook audience, you'll want to consider upgrading to maybe eliminate that branding message. You can see here for 1,000 subscribers, it's gonna be $15 a month to eliminate that branding message and also increase the amount of tools that you have available to you. And there you go, guys. We just created our very first Facebook bot and you can create more in-depth sequences with this tool. So you can have different responses queued up depending on how the user is interacting with your messages. You can have videos being sent out. You can have galleries, lists, images. You can see all these different options that you have available. So if you guys wanna see a more in-depth video covering the different features of ManyChat, then just let me know again in the comments below what it is specifically you wanna see covered and I'll make sure I make it happen. You'll also notice in the left-hand corner, there's your Facebook page. You can connect more Facebook pages and log out of your account. And that's all there is to it, guys. I hope you enjoyed that quick setup process when it comes to creating your own real estate chatbot on Facebook. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know the drill. Slap that like button right down below. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Links to both ManyChat and our free iPad giveaway will be listed in the description below. So make sure you go check that out. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you soon. Bye.